And there we go. Right through the shields. And I know Hex would have done even more, but that's the Shadow Ball. Welcome back to another Dan Squared video, you Danimals. And that's right, it's the Dan Squared Solo 7 Star Terror Raid build on the Sunday of the event, not on the Thursday. I've been very consistent, but I took a vacation with my family to Nashville. I'm gonna talk about more later, and I'll talk about it more on stream, but I had a great time celebrating uh, one of my sister's birthdays, and I'm about to graduate with my master's degree in computer science from Vanderbilt University. But that is not the reason why we are gathered here today. We're gathered here today to discuss soloing Seven Star Meganium, which they ended up making it a menace. We talked about in the preview that Meganium gets a lot of really useful status moves, but surely Game Freak won't give him all of them. But it did. It's a body press menace. It's throwing up screens. It's spam and curse like Seven Star Mewtwo did with Calm Minds. Jeez, this is definitely a terror raid that the Danimals in the community they could have used me night one. I'm just saying. You might, you might have missed me, but no. Alas, you guys are fine. The Danimals have been holding it down in the Dance Board Discord. Shout out to my awesome moderators, uh, Fate Gamers, uh, Dabasaurus Rex, and Curbs for helping people all weekend. And a best special shout out to the Danimal High Council member, Stevo, AKA Joey, uh, for inspiring this build, telling me, hey, check out this Decidueye. It's doing really good. So without further ado, let's get into this build. Here is a high level overview of the Decidueye build that you can use to defeat Seven Star Meganium in solos and group raids. Above Decidueye, you'll see Seven Star Meganium. Next to Seven Star Meganium, you will see its son, Chico Danarita, or it's a Chikorita that we are going to use to defeat Seven Star Meganium with some support, of course. That video is dropping soon. If it's already dropped, the card will be up there right now. Wow, the power of science is truly a miracle. Here is the star of today's video, a Pokemon that's sneakily high on my ratings of the best starter Pokemon, Alolan Decidueye. It's going to have a Ghost Terra type to keep that important, that vital immunity to body press. It's gonna use the uh, Shell Bell held item for some recovery. For its EV spread, I'm rocking with max special attack EVs, max defense EVs, and the final four in HP. It's a special attacking Pokemon, so I'm going with the Modest Nature to further increase our special attack while lowering our attack. Max IVs and all stats, uh, but you don't need max IVs in attack. If you have it, it's no big deal. The ability Overgrow is slightly optimal for this build because I am packing Giga Drain. When Decidueye is at one third HP or less, it's grass type attacks like Giga Drain do 50% more damage. Why Giga Drain? Because it recovers 50% of the damage it deals as HP and I find that that extra recovery makes it really consistent for solos in this raid. But it's not the main attacking move. The main attacking move is Shadow Ball. It does excellent ghost type damage, which is gonna be stab super effective, or Terra Ghost, it's gonna do a ton of damage. But wait, there's more. There's a 20% chance that it will uh, lower the target's special defense by one stage. So I prefer it over Hex. But as I'll talk about later, Hex is perfectly fine. And if you're gonna use this in group raids, you can pack Hex. Nasty Plot is gonna power up our special attacking moves like Shadow Ball. Feather Dance is going to make sure that we can survive Meganium's attacks that aren't body press because all of those other attacks are calculated with Meganium's attack stat. So we're going to use Feather Dance to keep Megane uh, uh, Decidueye. Feather Dance is going to keep Decidueye alive. Before we get into the raid, I want to give you a Dan joke because I meant to read it in the middle of the raid, but I forgot. So before we get into the raid action, as I get older, I keep remembering all the people I lost along the way. I was a terrible tour guide. <laughs> I'm to see this grass starter on grass starter crime. We're gonna start with feather dance. I know I'm covering it up, but trust me, it's there. And holy cow, it's good to be talking to you, Danimals. It's weird recording my solo build video on Sunday and not on Thursday. Fun fact, the last terror raid that I did not make in any night one content on, is the exact Pokemon I'm using right here. Decidueye the Unrivaled. So Alolan Decidueye, that was in what? March 2023? Every single seven star terror raid after that, I, I streamed or at least made a video on it night one, but I took some time off. I think I might've talked about it earlier in the video. I don't know, probably. But yeah, I was celebrating one of my sister's birthdays in Nashville and my graduation for, in, I'm in the online master's program of computer science at Vanderbilt. So stay in school, Danimals. Always try to better yourselves. So I took some time. Nashville, awesome town, lives up to the expectations. 
I'll yap more about that, but now let's make sure I'm paying attention. So you want to use uh, at least three Feather Dances. I do like a fourth to be safe because uh, the only times that I've really been burned using this build is when Meganium throws in some curses after the shield already goes up. So I like four Feather Dances to get it nice and low. We're going to be pretty low right now. That's okay. So we packed something for this exact situation. We have Giga Drain. And I'm using that instead of Hex because the Giga Drain restores 50% of the damage we deal as HP. So in the early game, it gives us a better recovery than the Shell Bell. If you want to switch this build up to be better in group raids, I would uh, replace Giga Drain with Hex. Because then, then that way, if you have any teammates like uh, Skeledurge that are using Will-O-Wisp or something to burn, then you're going to be able to do even more damage. I opted for the combination of Giga Drain for some recovery and Shadow Ball for more consistent damage because we can't rely on the status conditions and the 20% chance to drop special defense. Okay, so our stats were nullified. So now we're going to go with Nasty Plot. We can use that three times, make our special attack plus six, and that's the only time that our stats are going to get nullified. So we won't have to worry about uh, increasing our stats again during this terror ter raid. So let's see, good, 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 good. We're still not taking much damage. Let me just check. Yeah, see, it's still at minus two, because I know we, we had put it down to minus three, but it used another curse. That's why I like that fourth feather dance there. I know it feels a little excessive, but we just gotta make sure we're keeping Meganium's attack negative. We don't have to worry about body press. It's great, it's great. Shout out to all the ghost Pokemon. I know Skeletor's put in work. LOL, just use Annihilate. And that's exactly why, because other than critical hits, which can and will happen, that's gonna stink. We're a big chillin'. So we're, I'm in the yellow, so I'm gonna mix in a Giga Drain before I go to the third Nasty Plot. Then once we do the third Nasty Plot, then we can just Giga Drain or Shadow Ball, whatever we want, need to do, until it's time to Drastalize. And once we do that, we can pretty much turn our brain off and just Shadow Ball. And it's only a matter of when, not if. Like based on how many, like, you know, stat drops we get with a 20% chance from Shadow Ball. Some some raids it feels like this special defense is constantly going down. Sometimes it feels like it's never going down. But yeah, I must say, Nashville, Tennessee lives up to all the hype. Uh, if you're like me and you like live music, then it's the place for you because uh, the Broadway of Nashville is like everywhere you go. The establishments, the bars, the restaurants, the bars have like... Three floors, every floor has a different band. It blew my mind. And my sister, my sister's a big country music fan, her and her husband. I'm not the biggest fan of country music, but I will listen to anything live, and country music grew on me a lot, but any live music is just all right in my book. So while I was yapping, I used a third Giga Drain. So I know I've been talking a lot, so let's just take a look at it. Okay, you see, We've been able to get two special defense drops from Shadow Ball. The attack's still at minus one. We are at plus six. And we are able, to, our health is good from Giga Drain. We're able to Terrastalize. So all we have to do is Terrastalize and use Shadow Ball. And we're gonna start dealing a lot of damage. While I'm Terrastalizing, I wanna hear from you, Danimals. What Pokemon are you using against Seven Star Meganium? Skeledurge? LOL, just use Annihilate? You tell me. I know. I know I wasn't there to take it on with you, but shout out to all the awesome Terror Raiders in the Dan Square Discord who held it down in my absence. And there we go, right through the shields. And I know Hex would have done even more, but that's the Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball did so much because the special defense drops. All right, Meganium's gonna negate its negative effects. So obviously not ideal, it's gonna be doing a solid amount of damage and we're gonna be doing less damage. We don't really have anything we need to read or react to this. We just wanna keep swinging and just end this raid. Uh, losing the curse, sadly, Decidueye, Alolan Decidueye is slower, and I didn't invest in any speed EVs here, so we're gonna go second until he uses curse again. Or if you have something like the Belly Bolt to Mud Shots, or any of the Pokemon that paralyze it. Good, good. Good, good. So now, yeah, we just keep swinging with Shadow Ball. I don't, I think we might be safe from the crits. It depends on the curse. Yeah, because we're doing a ton of damage. I gotta say, hey, when you go to Nashville, you gotta try the hot chicken. 
If you're like me, you might have thought like, hey, it's just a chicken sandwich. How good can it be? It really is that good. All the food. You gotta check out Assembly Hall, go on Broadway, go down the strip of, gotta go in all the bars, hear all the live music. I, I need to go back though. I, there's like, you can go to the, the Nashville Predators hockey game. There's a Country Music Hall of Fame. I gotta find an excuse to go back, so. That's, might be recency bias, but great vacation spot. So there you go, you have vacation advice. Go to, <laughs> you, you now can know how to beat Seven Star Meganium and have an idea for your next vacation. <laughs> oh, too fun. Oh, the flinch, the terror of that. The terror of being slower. We're about to lose? Oh, goodness gracious, okay. I used curse against somewhere else we weren't slower anymore. I got nervous. Which would have been the worst? Cause I, oh, there we go. <laughs> the Sejuai is the superior. Surp superior grass starter. Meganium is not a good grass starter. Decidueye is one of my favorites. That's that's not gonna sound good in the cold open. Okay, let's pick an out a nice Pokeball. I am thinking, where's my nest ball? Oh, whoa, no, sport ball is really cool. Holy cow. Nest ball, because this thing is a weakling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so let me know in the comments what Pokeball you were using to catch a seven-star Meganium. I'm catching in the nest ball because I don't I don't like Meganium. It's my least favorite starter. The Johto starters, overrated. Hey, but Meganium needs a new form, so maybe it'll be in Legends today. But yeah, let me know what Pokeball you're using to catch this thing. Tough, tough raid. But Sunman and the Danimals, we we always find a way. Yikes! Looks like my brain isn't fully recovered from vacation. I forgot to wear my Dance Squared merchandise while recording the gameplay. Oh, what a disaster! <laughs> Oh, no worries. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment, or using Shadow Ball and that subscribe button for more Dan Squared. Thanks for watching and happy Meganium season.